ठीक से ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ इट्स टू हाई आह व्हाट डिजास्टर कम ऑन बाइक या आर आई लुक फील पावरफुल फील गुड Isn't it lovely? This is the reason I suffered in the last video for 10 hours on that horrendous stinking bus to come here to the mountains of Nepal. I've rented myself a bike. This bike right here. It costs about $7 a day. Let me tell you something. It's worth that price. It barely works. The headlights don't work. It struggles to go up a hill. And yeah, it's, it's horrendous. But um, yeah, either way, we're going to begin a two-hour road trip up into the mountains where I'm going to be spending the night. And yeah, it's going to be some adventure. So welcome back to Nepal. Let's do it. Another thing to point out is that the fuel gauge don't work. Look, it constantly says empty. So I have no idea how much fuel I've got. I put a full tank in this morning, but hopefully I don't run out on the mountains. Right, this is it. This is my cheap bike that I rented off some random dude I seen on the street. He didn't ask for a license, nothing. I chucked him about $40 for three or four days. And he said, off you go. So yeah, safe to say it's worth the money. Hopefully this can handle the mountains of Nepal. Well, we're five minutes in. So far the bike's holding up well. But what I'm looking at right now, the roads don't look too good. I've still got a long way to go on this beautiful bike. So yeah, hopefully we make it. Let's carry on. Namaste. Sarangot? Sarangot? This way? Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm going the right way, I've cornered that lady. Oh man, I've had two locals tell me different things, but I think this is the right way. Bike struggling here guys, I've got to say. It's really struggling. Don't want to be breaking down up here. Well, we're half an hour in. The roads speak for itself. Hopefully my uh, footage shows how brutal the roads are. But yeah, look at this for a view. The beautiful Nepal. What a place. It's supposed to be a tourist attraction this. You're having a bloody laugh, ain't ya? Fucking hell, these roads are shocking. Come on, bike! You can do it! Ah! We're about halfway. My bike's making all sorts of noises. I don't honestly, I'll be amazed if it makes it up there because the roads are getting worse and worse. But in the distance, I think that's the village, Sarangot, right at the top of the mountain. So we've still got all of this way to go. But it looks like there's, well, a pretty big village up there. Right, come on, let's carry on. Oh, hold on, what's this? Oh, lovely. Tarmac Road here. Oh, yes. Right, let me check my map, see where I am. Oh, get in, I'm checking the map now. So it says I've got 25 minutes until I get to the village. And I think it's going to be this tarmac road the whole way, hopefully. Because my god, my ass can't take it anymore. And the bike, the bike's knackered. It's more like it guys, perfect road, amazing view, great weather. This is more like it. We're about 15 minutes from the village. There's a wedding happening up here. Namaste, guys. How you doing? Hello. Oh shit, there's a bus. Don't hit me. Well, at long last, we've made it. My ass is in bits, but a bike survived just about. We've arrived at the village. What a journey. Hopefully it's worth it. I'm sure it will be. Let's get to the hotel. <sighs> Namaste.
but no one's here. Nobody. Hello? Gotta call them up, see if they answer. Oh, not even answering. Well then, I guess I'll just sit here and wait it out until someone arrives. God knows how long that's gonna be. Yeah, evening then? Evening? You, I... You, uh, me, here, Lord Green Market, come back. Evening? That's a long, that's five hours away. I go get food and come back? Yeah. Okay, see you soon. Right, according to my map, there's a little restaurant up here called Green Hill. So let's get in there, get a Nepalese meal, and then head back to the hotel. Hopefully that lady's going to be there. Hello? Yeah, namaste. Namaste. Greenview restaurant? Yeah. I can sit upstairs? Uh, yeah, rooftop and then we are coming here. Okay, thank yeah, you, thank here. you. Let's get a little seat up here and get a meal. Namaste. Namaste. How are you? I'm fine. My friend, do you have dal bats? Oh, yeah, we have dal bats. You have? Okay. The famous Nepalese dish. What's the Nepali thali set you want? Sorry? You want Nepali thali set? Uh, dal bat. Yeah, dal bat means Nepali thali. Yeah, Nepali thali. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, veg vegetarian. Okay. Thank you, brother. Yeah. And uh, Coca Cola? Okay. Thank you. There we go. Friendly Nepalese people. Right, whilst we wait for our meal. I need to show you something. So this is the reason I've come up here, to see the mountains. However, I can't see sod all because of the clouds. Normally there'll be like snow-capped mountains there in the back. But yeah, that's where I started the video. I don't know if my camera picks it up. There's a lake where I started the video. But yeah, as you can see, I can't see much of the mountain. Hopefully in the morning or later on this evening, I get to see them because that is the reason I've come up here. Well, here it is, guys. The famous Nepalese dish, the dal bats. I've never tried this before, so it's my first time. And yeah, it looks pretty decent. This is what you get. So you get a big pile of rice, massive pile of rice. Bit of potato curry or something there. Dal. And then you've got a bit of veg here, some spicy sauce, don't know what that is. And then I don't know what that is either. Some sort of, I'm guessing not mayonnaise. So yeah. Let me get set up here and try Nepalese number one meal, the dal bats. The orange sauce on the side of the dish. So this sauce here, get it all mixed in with the rice, and in we go. <coughs> it's very spicy, very soapy as well. Oh my god. I'm not too keen on that, I'll be honest. It tastes like, it tastes like dishwasher soap. Man. Right, let's try the next thing. Right, I got some veg here. Can't go wrong with a bit of veg, surely. It smells spicy, I can smell it. <coughs> it's very nice, but it's very spicy as well. Oh man. Right, we'll go with this now. Some sort of curry, potato curry, I think. Let's get this mixed in with the rice. That is fantastic. Gotta be honest, that is great. Just tastes like potato curry. Mmm. By far the best one. Right, moving on. Last couple. A bit of dal. I've had this a million times in India before. Let's see if it's the same. Yep, can't go wrong with a bit of dal. Lovely. Right, we've got two more to try. I've seen this before in India. I'll be honest, not too keen on it. Let's see what it's like in Nepal. Right, here we go. It's decent. Basically tastes like yogurt mixed with rice. Right, people of Nepal, your famous dish to dal bat. I'll be honest, I like it. I'll give it a seven out of 10. I've eaten most of it, as you can see. There's a couple things I'm not too keen on, like that orange sauce, whatever it's called. So yeah, would I eat it again? Absolutely. No doubt I will be eating it again. So yeah, Dao Bat, 7 out of 10. Right then, let's get back to the hotel. And hopefully, someone can finally let me in. Ah, namaste. Namaste. 
Check in, booking? Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah, is it? Thank you. All right then. This will do. This is all right. Well, there you go. We made it. And just in time as well. It's absolutely pissing it down up there. But there you go. 15 quid. I mean, you can't beat that price, can you? Imagine a price of this in England. It would cost an absolute fortune. Let me show you the view. Hopefully in the morning, we can see the mountains. But for now, can't see sod all. And it's pissing it down. Anyway, I'm going to end things here, continue filming in the morning, and yeah, continue exploring the villages of Nepal. So, see you tomorrow. Well, as you can see, can't see a bloody thing. Too many clouds. So, um... Yeah, let me get my bag, get on the bike, and head to the next village. All right then, we're back on the bike, and I've got a new plan. So basically, yesterday I was chilling, and um, I got a message from Harry Jagged, the uh, British YouTuber that I went to the Philippines with, and his mate, Go With Ali, another British YouTuber, and they said, mate, listen, if you want a real cultural experience here in the villages, they have a local mate here that basically they spent like three or four days with and filmed it. So I've reached out to a local, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm now going to go to that village and spend the night there and see how life is there, basically. I'm going to see what they eat. I'm going to see what they drink and see how they survive, basically. So I'm back on a bike. Let's go meet that guy and, yeah, spend the night in a local village here in Nepal. Let's do it. I've also decided I'm going to ditch the bike. It's making all sorts of weird noises now. So I'm going to head back to the town and give it back to the dude. And, yeah, I can't be... Oh, shit, did you hear that? Shit. Yeah, it's making all sorts of weird noises. So yeah, let me head back to the city and get rid of it. Hey bro, you okay? I don't need it anymore. Yeah, I leave now. Yeah, yeah, thank you bro. There you go, simple as that. Random guy in the street, you dump your bike back to him and off you go. You gotta love Nepal. Guys, let me introduce you to Cabby. Hello guys. Let's go. Thank you for inviting me to your village, mate. Please, it's always my pleasure, bro. How far is it? About 40 minutes on a bike. 40 minutes. On a good bike this time. Uh, uh, let's see. It's <laughs> only after we ride there. Okay? It looks safer than mine. Okay. Right, so let's go to Cabby's village. Gonna spend the night there, meet his family. And yeah, I can't wait. Let's do it. Go on, mate. All right, we're back on the off-roads again now. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh. You there? Yeah, we are here. Oh, nice. We've arrived at Cappy's Village, up here in the mountains. Nice place, mate. Okay, thank you. Ah, your mother. Up to you. Namaste. Namaste, How are you? Oh, what is this? Ah, okay. It's a retika. Retika. It's for good luck. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What a lovely welcome. Please, huh? Up what to blessing. you. After you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Namaste. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Hello. Hello. What has happened to your arm? He fell down, yeah, oh, about no. 10 days ago. But he just sprained it? Uh-huh. Ah, he's alright. It's the fourth time he broke the hand, huh? Fourth time? Yeah. Wow. I broke my arm when I was about 12. I fell off yeah. a car. I broke three times, though. Really? Oh, no, probably on his <laughs> roads, mate. <laughs> no, I was very young. <laughs> this is my room? Yeah. For today. Ooh. That'll do. I'll take that. It's good, mate. Thank you. Well, there it is. That's where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. Up here in this village, in this cosy little room, with a cracking view. Let me show the view. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Beautiful Nepal. Baba. That was the best Dao bat I've had. Thank Excellent. You. How do you say very good? Me too. 
Me too. Ta. Me too? Yeah, me too. Ta. Me too. Ta. Yeah. Me too. Ta. Oh man, I am stuffed. That was a cracking meal, I tell you. Cabby, I'm gonna go lie down, mate, for an hour. I'm, I'm tired after that. No, 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 Ben. We're gonna go to the jungle. To do what? Yeah, we're gonna cut the grass for the goats and buffalo. So I'm working here? Yeah, definitely. Blimey. Obviously, I knew that. I'm now gonna experience what it's like to work here in the village of Nepal. So, Cabby, lead the way, mate. Yeah. Let's, let's crack on. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's get to work. This is, we're going to carry the, uh, you know, the leaves, uh, the grass for the buffalo and the goats over right. here. This is going on my back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. You're too handsome with the glass, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, it yanks your neck back, doesn't it? With one hand, you're going to hold it like this. Okay. And in the back's going some leaves, right? It's going to be 100 kilo. 100 kilo? Later on, huh? And these ladies are coming as well? <laughs> right, let's do it. After you. After me? Yes. Thank you. Today you're gonna lead the way for me? Yeah, I'm leading the way, mate. I'm already sweating. Obviously it's summer here in Nepal at the moment, so it's super humid. But in the winter, Kabi was telling me it gets to like five degrees, four degrees, even lower, so it gets proper cold. <sighs> oh. This goes to show how fit those ladies are climbing up here every day, getting a hundred kilo of leaves in the back of this basket and then carrying it somewhere else. How are you? How do you <laughs> feel, huh? It's tough, mate. It's we tough. haven't started the work yet. I know, I'm sweating. My... What's that used for, the leaves? You have to cut the leaves and the wood. Ah, okay. It's nice and sharp. Yeah, this is the way to start. How many laps a day do you do to get some leaves and come back? Once a day or twice a day. Not twice a day? Maximum Same person every time? It depends. Sometimes you're going to collect the wood, sometimes you're going to collect the leaves. How many times have you gone? When I was a child, twice a day. Twice a day? Yeah. So what do I do? Yeah, they sit on. Oh, no! Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just like that? Yeah, yeah. It looks okay. Not perfect. Hey, first no. time, mate. Yeah. There we go, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're ready for some leaf cutting. <laughs> Yeah. Look at the sweat dripping off my nose. Yeah. Jesus, I'm going deep into the jungle now. Better not be any snakes around here. Oh. You really have to be careful, bro. <laughs> it's quite tough, isn't it? <laughs> it looks easy though. It does look yeah, easy, no. but it's not. Yeah. And now put it to the... Now it goes in there. Uh -huh. yeah. Put it more inside, more, more, how to say, what do you call it in English? Uh, deeper. Deeper, okay, yeah. yeah. When you are in the jungle and there is no water to drink and you are very thirsty, mm -hmm. jungle provide you a way to survive. Let's see. Look at them. Where is that? And we can eat it. It's like a little fruit? It's a very juicy. Juicy? Yeah. Very watery, so you can survive. Yeah, you can eat it. Thank you. Please. Just eat it whole? Uh, you don't need to swallow it. Only the water you can swallow it. The rest you can throw it out. Oh yeah. There's like bursts in your mouth like a grape. Yeah, you can yeah, say that. It don't taste great, I'll be oh, honest. No, no, no. It tastes like bland, <laughs> don't know, flavourless. A little bit lemony, a little bit? A little know. bit, a little yeah, bit of a subtle bit. lemon flavour. Uh -huh. Maybe, you know, the branch is uh, almost the weight of this guy, yeah? So the workers here, all day they're cutting down trees, you know, taking the leaves back, doing other things. Mm -hmm. What sort of wage are they on? Yeah, the people who are cutting down the trees at the branches today, they're going to get like a uh, thousand rupees per day. They're gonna work like nine thirty to five fifty. A thousand rupees. That's thousand about rupees. nine dollars. No, 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 seven point five dollars. Seven and a half dollars. Yeah, because the dollar rates is so high now. Mm. So all day. All day, definitely. That's about a dollar and a half an hour. Yeah. No, no, more, more up. One, 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 one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
It's good. Uh, over here, over here. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that's good. It's good? Yeah, yeah didn't fall down. It. Didn't right, fall down. How far to the village, mate? Um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Mm hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, you, hell. Yeah, you good? Holy shit. Man. You good? I'm bolder than that's, my foot. That's okay, but like. I'm good, mate. You good? I've dropped the leaves. That's okay, yeah. I can handle it. Did you catch that on film? No problem. I don't know. Yeah, you did. No, no, let me do it. Do let me do it. it. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah, it just sure. that as a loose rock there. Yeah, loose rock. I hope that's on film, me falling down there. Uh, okay. I hope it is. <laughs> A little bit upper side, yeah, exactly. A little bit up, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. My father will help you. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Right, let's go. Oh, yes. Half an hour. You have, yep. to, you have to survive half an hour. Yeah. Balance here. Mm -hmm. Right, we're about 10 minutes in. It does get a bit painful, I'll be honest, on the old neck. It's starting to get a bit hard. Right, a little break. We're back in. We're good? Not this stripe. Yeah. Cozy. Ready? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Back into it. Not easy trailer. No, it's tough mate, honestly, it is tough. To be honest. Halfway? Yeah, halfway now. My neck is throbbing <laughs> in pain. It's tough. You got the strongest neck in Nepal. We are used to it from the childhood. Is this it? <laughs> Almost there. Well, it's safe to say the people of Nepal are tough people. Because this is not easy. Okay. Something on the board? Man, oh my neck, my arms, that's a solid workout. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah, now you're, this is for the goats, you can give it to the goats. It's for the goats? Yeah, yeah. Not a buffalo? Not for the buffalo. You're a buffalo. Stay back <laughs> buffalo, it's for the goats. Right, no time to rest, back to work. Where are we now, mate? We are going to plow the land. Plow the land. With an ox. So we're going to help these guys down here? Definitely. Well, we're down on the mud. Barefoot. Ooh, feels nice. At one with nature. So what am I doing, mate? What am I doing first? Namaste. Okay, now you're going to see how they're going to walk. Okay. All right then. How far does she have to go? All the way? All the way. Look at this land, huh? All the land which is already plowing. Blimey. Yeah, they have to work. Yeah, you take 10 minutes, I'll do this. You sit down. No, boss, no, they can't. You're lucky day. Yeah, in the garden, they want nobody. Like this? How's that? It doesn't help me. What do you mean? That's a good ditch, isn't it? Yeah. What, deeper? Yeah, yeah. More deeper, and you have to go more this side. Oh, now is you, wow, ah, you are getting better. Yeah. Even more, more, more. You are not finished there. <laughs> you are just taking the easier part. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go this side, all this side, and you have There's to also... There's a giant rock in the way, Look mate. at this. You also need to clean with the hand. Okay? I'm sweating. You just started. How's that? Better. Surely that's all right. Yeah, over here. Finish oh, mate, one. you got OCD, ain't you? More clean. So you can see the way. Yeah. OK, 
Can you try this one? How it goes? But be careful when with the, with the feet, huh? Do not cut your feet. This one's worse. <laughs> this one's blunt. Yeah, give me. You have to go this way. Ah, so that one's a sideways one. So put it here, throw it there. How's your back? Hot, killing me. <laughs> you ladies are hardcore. In the village, everybody wake up, everybody, 5.30 in the morning, and you know, the life ends after the sunset. 5.30 in the morning, tomorrow you're gonna see them. Ah, come on. That's a good job, isn't it? Let her, let her, you, you have to see it. Yeah, hold, hold it down. Yeah, yeah, follow the line, okay? Okay, I'll try. You, you can see the line, right? Oh, yeah. Good. Ticks, eh? Aha, aha! What? What? I'm going off course. Right. Is that alright? Where are you? Uh, yeah, I'm just behind. <laughs> oh, ba. Oh. I'll just do the one line. I don't want to mess up. I was going a bit off course there. I don't want to mess up his work. It's tricky. It is. A lot of arm strength still. again. You have to go for the swimming. A swim? Uh -huh. Yes, there's a river down the road. We're going to go for a little dip and wash off all this. Wow, we've made it back home just in time. It's thunder and lightning, heavy, heavy rain. But we're about to have a Nepalese snack, a famous Nepalese snack. What's the name? Chatspats. Chatspats. My name. <laughs> no, no. Both, your name and this. What is your name? <laughs> Susmita. Susmita. And what is the name? Susmita. Susmita. Yeah. And the name of the meal? Chatpat. Chatpat. Yeah. So it's basically noodles. And then this looks like Rice Krispies. Tomato, onion. And a spicy chili, right? Yeah. Right. So far we've got the onions and tomato in a little pot here. Next up for the chili. Hold on, how spicy is this? <laughs> it looks lethal. <laughs> Good. It's not spicy. Oh, there is. There's a kick. Ah, oh, there's a kick. It's okay. good though. Perfect amount. After you. It's nice. It's nice. Right. Now that was a little snack before the main meal tonight, which is of course going to be dal bat, the Nepalese classic. And they're cooking it out here on the fire. Dal bat. Here we go. So it's being cooked in this like outside shed type thing. This is lentils. Lentils, all right, okay. A red one and black one. Yeah, nice. These are the spices. Yes. This is turmeric. Lovely. Turmeric yeah. Ginger? Yes. I like how you just bash it with a rock against another rock. Old school method. Is this masala? Yes, masala. I can smell it. Okay. How is my thing? Is it good? No. No? <laughs> Yeah, not the best job. Yeah, show me how it's done. Ah, okay, right.
And that is how you make a Dao Bat here in the villages of Nepal. Smells amazing, looks amazing, and uh, yeah, it's going to be ready in about an hour, so if you're going to give me a call. It's getting dark here now in the village, as you can see. Sun's gone down. So yeah, I'll see you when it's dinner time. Danyavad Amma. Danyavad Amma. Listen, I'm not going to film this. It's another Dal Bat. It's going to be a great meal. Yeah, I'm going to end things here. See you in the morning. Oh, man. Good morning. Oh, 6 a.m. Slept all right, I'll be honest. Solid seven hours. Didn't wake up. Best sleep I've had in Nepal. Man. Oh, the weather's a bit shocking now. Let me show you. Oh, crisp, chilly morning here on the mountain. Beautiful. Yeah, weather's a bit gloomy. Right, not too sure what the plan is today. Cabby said there's a lot of um, a lot of work to do again. So, yeah, let me get a cup of coffee and uh, crack on with what needs to be done. All right, one of the most crucial jobs that needs to be done here in the village every morning, 7 a.m. It's milking the buffalo. Right, so what's the process here? What do yeah, I do? You have to, you know, play with the nipples at the beginning. Play with the nipples, or I'm yeah. only good at that, so okay. that's fine. Uh -huh. And then, uh, within a few minutes, the milk gets ready to right. milk. So you got to massage your nipples. Cut, yep. Yeah. And yeah, it's ready for uh, milking. Oh, here we go. Feels weird. How it feels when you touch? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yeah. Together. Can you do? Together. There you go. Yeah. How is it? Well, I've now officially milked an animal, my first ever time. Ooh. Oh my god. Later we can we can drink the the boiled milk that I'm you just going to wash my hands. Oh, right? first, okay. That stinks. <laughs> so that's the milk I've just milked. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give it a go. Cup, huh? Thank you. It's just more more rich, huh? It's more yeah, fat. it's decent. Because the buffalo milk has more fat than the cow milk. Yeah, yeah. Proper fresh. That's decent, that. Fresh out of the uh, nipples of that buffalo. Less than five minutes ago. Ah, if you go around. Okay. Yeah. It's too high. Oh, what a disaster. Making a right mess in here. Okay, go on. Safe to say making Nepalese bread ain't my thing. Look at the state of that. The one my mother make and the one you made. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Yeah. Might be quite nice. Go yeah, on. try it, mate. Ready? Crunchy. <laughs> Crunchy. Do you want some? I'm joking. I won't make you eat that. Right, let me try my Nepalese bread. Yeah, terrible. Just like barren, barren popcorn or something. Let's try mother's bread. I'm sure it's going to be lovely. That, guys, is how it's supposed to look. Look at that. Proper Nepalese bread. It's not the absolute disaster I did. So um, let's go in for that bite. Good, mate. Right, that's it really guys. My time in the village has come to an end. Loved it. Really enjoyed it to be fair. I was going to be doing some more work in the fields, but the rain has completely swamped everything over. So yeah, I'm limited to what I can do. So I'm going to get out of here. But yeah, absolutely loved it. Loved my time here. Friendly, really, really good people here. So yeah, eye-opening experience. If you want to do the same thing, like I said, I've linked Cabby's Instagram below and his number. So yeah, highly recommend it if you do come to Nepal. I'm going to get my bag packed here and get back to the city. 
And I've also left them um, a donation, which I'm sure they'll see when um, they tidy up the room. So yeah, let me get my bag packed, get back on the bike and head to the city of Pokhara. Let's do it. And the water. Danyavad, Amma. I'll explain you. This kada came from Tibet probably a thousand years ago into Nepal. So this kada has a very special meaning in the Tibetan Buddhism. But in Nepal, it become an integrated part of our culture. So if there is a birthday, we give it to the person who has a birthday. If you are getting married, we give it to you mm -hmm. when you are getting married. Okay, and then culturally, um, also if you get election you know you win the election we give it to you so it's become a very cultural thing not a religious thing in Nepal in Nepal even the Hindu people mm -hmm. Buddhist people Muslim people everybody yeah, use it thank you brother Wow oh Nepali hat Nepali hat at last Nepal try to be Nepali. thank you so much I'm officially Nepali. Yeah, you're officially Nepali. It's good? It looks good? Yeah, it looks very good, mate. Perfect. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Right, that's it. We're leaving the village. Cabby's dad is leading me towards the bike through the village. Yeah, how do I look? I feel powerful. I feel good. Namaste, Hello. namaste. Hello. How are you? Hello. Yes, you okay? Namaste. Good bro. It's time. Namaste. Good man. Bye. Bye. Good. I'm fine. You're fine? I'm also fine. Do you like Bye. my hats? Bye. It's good? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. Have a good day, okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And we're down by the bottom. Ready for the bike? Ready for the bike. It was 10 minutes or more than that. Good man. Nice to meet you, okay? Ah, uh, good man. My Nepalese father, what a legend. Yay. Okay, I'll speak to you soon, okay? Nice to meet you. Yeah, it was about a 20 minute walk. Okay. Right, off to Pokhara. Bye bye. Bye Hey, your dad's a good guy. Okay, thank you. He's a legend. Well, this could be the best Dao Bat we've had. Yeah, look at the decoration. It is stunning. How many dishes here? There must One, be about two, 15. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. It's Thank a, you, yes. It's a, oh, that's it's the yak tea. milk. Yeah. Tea. Whoa. Thank you. Well, we can't end the video without having yet another Dao Bat. My fifth in like two days. But this one looks unbelievable. Could be the best one. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna end the video. Awesome couple of days in Nepal. Brother, thank you so much once again. Thanks and to your family, you're a good man. And I'll see you in Kathmandu in a couple of days. Yep. We're gonna get a beer and um, yeah, catch up there. So um, yeah, see you guys in the next video from Nepal. I'm gonna smash this and then go to bed. So see you in a bit.